Yes, X in course 2, lesson 76, is on complex fractions. So here we have 3 fifths over 2 thirds. So we want to focus our attention on the denominator. Okay, we want to change this denominator to 1 so that we have a number over 1. To change a fraction to 1, we're going to multiply it by the reciprocal. So I'm going to take 3 fifths over 2 thirds and I want to multiply the denominator by the reciprocal which is 3 over 2 because that will eventually equal 1. When whatever I do to the bottom I have to do to the top as well so I'm going to multiply the top by 3 halves as well. Okay, the numerator. So I end up with 3 fifths times 3 halves is equal to 9 tenths over 2 thirds times 3 halves which is equal to 1. Now any number over 1 is equal to itself so it's going to equal 9 tenths. Okay. With this next one we have 25 and 2 thirds divide over 100. Okay. Again we want to make sure we want to change the denominator In, so that it will equal 1. So we're going to write both the numerator and denominator's fractions first. And I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the reciprocal of the denominator. Okay, so I'm going to multiply by 1 over 100. So remember, we're trying to get the denominator to equal 1. So I need to change 25 and 2 thirds into a mixed, into an improper fraction which is equal to 77 thirds. Now I can go ahead and multiply. So I end up with 77 over 300, 77 three hundredths over 1, which is equal to 77 three hundredths. It, that number does not reduce. Okay, this one, simplify 15 over 7 and 1 third. So I need to write both the numerator and denominator as improper fractions. So I'm going to have 15 over 1 and 22 thirds. I need to make the denominator equal to 1. So I'm going to multiply it by the reciprocal, 3 over 22. Whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. So multiply the numerator by 3 over 22. Okay, and that's going to equal 45 over 22, and all of that over 1, which is equal to 2 and 1 22nd, if I change it back to a mixed number. Okay, the last one, change 83 and 1 third percent to a fraction and simplify. So remember, percent means per hundred. So it's going to be 83 and 1 third per 100. Now I need to simplify. I need to change both numerator and denominator into improper fractions. So that equals 250 thirds over 100 once. Multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 over 100. And that equals 250 over 300, and all that over 1, which is equal to, once I reduce 250 over 300, it reduces down to 5 6. And that's my answer. And that's it for this lesson.